Hi, today I'm going to do a really metallic summer look on Maith. There's loads of really beautiful gel textured powders around this summer and I think that kind of texture really lends itself well to metallic shadows. It just increases the, the metallicness and the smoothness and the vibrancy. So um, metallics really come around every summer. They're not it's not a new trend but they do come around and there's there's often new textures and more interesting ways of showing metallics um so i think it's the perfect time to do it now and they're just brilliant for a summer evening a party or a holiday or whatever so i hope you like it i'm going to start by using this perfect look skin miracle this is a tinted moisturizer by this works which is a natural brand that i really like it looks really dark here but when it's on the skin, it's really lovely and natural looking. And it just gives a little bit of colour. You can either use it underneath foundation or concealer, or if you've got really great skin, you can just use it to give yourself a bit of colour. So if you want to look a little bit tanned, um, but not too much, not as much as with a fake tan, this is a really lovely product. Next I'm going to use a little bit of concealer, this is Healthy Mix in number 52. So this is just to match in with this tinted moisturiser. And I think it's a nice prep, we could do a little bit of foundation but I don't think Maeve needs it. I'm just going to use it under her eyes. I'm just going to use a little bit as well, just around the edge there of your nose. Just to even out a little bit. And this would be the time that if you did have any blemishes, which you haven't, just to do a little bit. Actually, there's a couple little ones here. I'm just going to smooth those out too. For eyes, I'm going to use this amazing palette. My favourite for the summer It's all these incredible bronzy and goldy shades. The palette is called Bronze Sands and it's by Estee Lauder. I like it because the gold shade is not too dark. And I think the paler your skin, the lighter you need the gold to be. Any of the deep, sort of dark, sort of rich gold shades tend to look very yellow on the very pale skins. They're better for olive skins and darker skin tones. So if you can see this one, it's really nice and soft against Maeve's pale skin and pale blue eyes. The texture of these shadows is so beautiful. It's a new technology which involves using gel with the pigment, so rather than, although they just go on like powders, it's a gel technology, and um, they're very, very smooth. Next I'm gonna use this bronze shade. This close for me. Start building this up at the outer edge. I'm gonna take it all the way up to the brows as well. And this bronzy tone is really bringing up the blue of Maeve's eyes. So pretty on blue eyes. So just buffing it into the outer edge here. And again, this is where I find this gel technology for powders amazing. They just blend in seamlessly together. Just using a clean brush to go over the top of all of that and just make sure everything's blended in. And before I finish blending that, I'm gonna start bringing the little bit of the bronze underneath and also a touch of the darkest one as well, just in the corner. So I've just been adding a touch more of the original gold shade. This is the one I used all over the lid underneath. And then there's a really pale gold shade, which I'm gonna add into the inner corner. Beautifully soft, subtle gold. Now these are very, very metallic shadows and I would have to say that if you're kind of over 40 these are too metallic and I would use them. I still use the palette but I would use them more as a liner, mix them with water and smudge along the lash line top and bottom rather than use them all over the lid because they do emphasize any dryness or fine lines. Before I carry on I'm just going to fill in this little gap here in Maeve's brows. It's just on the one side I think. Fill that in. Next, we're going to use Clinique Cream Shaper for eyes, and this is brown sugar. Look up for me. 
Can I do a little on the waterline? You can. So I'm just going to put a little bit through the lower waterline on both eyes and a touch just along the lash line at the outer corner on the top. Just through the lashes and just slightly above. It's just going to give a little bit more definition there. Next I'm going to use Bourjois Volume Glamour Max Mascara in black. I'm just going to use a Q-tip to hold the lid so I don't disturb all the nice metallic shadow. You can use a brush as well, a brush handle. I want nice bushy full lashes. This is a good mascara for that. I think I'm just going to add a touch of the blue as well that's in the centre of this palette. I wasn't going to use it but look up for me. I think if I put a little tiny bit just underneath the lower lashes there it might be quite pretty. It might bring out the blue of my own eyes. It will, although the gold is doing a good job of that. Do you ever do your makeup glamorously to go out at night? Um, I, uh, well, actually, I don't do it myself because I'm a bit of a boy when it comes to makeup. But, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What you just keep do very basic makeup? Um, yeah, or nothing. Just, um, just um, mascara and maybe a little bit of lipstick, but yeah, anything what involves more makeup products. Yeah, mm. then, then I'm quite an idiot. So my best friend actually does my makeup when we go out. Oh, really? <laughs> so she's quite the makeup artist, is she? Yeah, she is. What kind of things does she do? Um, well, she's not as good as you, but um, I, I don't even know names of it. What, like eyeliner or lipstick? Oh, or yeah, 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 a bit. Uh, smoky? Um, smoky eyes, like black on your uh, eyes? No, more, uh, more the, uh, the eyeliner and maybe a okay. white um, eyeshadow, things like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, so next I'm going to do some bronzer. Because Maeve's so pale, I'm going to use 01 from the Guerlain Terracotta. And this is a nice pale one. And this is also matte. So it's a nice pale matte bronzer for a lighter skin. They do even a lighter one than this, which is really handy for all the pale skin girls. I'm going to use it a little bit for contouring and also a little bit for shaping. So bring a little bit of color also onto the neck. Is that nice and soft, that brush? It does feel nice. <laughs> Everyone loves these brushes when I use them on my clients. They go, oh, that's nice. But in general, I like it anyway if somebody puts my makeup on. Oh, it's really? like a bit like a tiny massage or something. Yeah. You find it relaxing. Mm hmm That's good. You're the perfect person to make up then. Because you don't get too bored having your makeup done. Some models hate it. They, fi they find it so boring. <laughs> I guess they work longer than I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll ask you again in 12 months. <laughs> <laughs> to finish off, I'm going to use Chanel Rouge Coco in Superstition. This has got a nice sandy gold pearl in. I love this colour. I think it works really well with the rest of the makeup. I am going to put a little necklace on because uh, I think it's going to work really well against some gold jewellery. And I think that's the complete bronze goddess look. <laughs> I like the look. I think it's a nice summer holiday sort of evening look. It's very glamorous. 